both me and uh, Mihal, we did our MBAs at uh, INSEAD and we found ourselves back in Singapore some years later. Um, and our passion was to get involved with an education business uh, here in Singapore and that's what we did. So I started an education business uh, for one of three reasons. Uh, the first reason was very much, uh, I want, I've been in a corporate for many years um, and uh, I wanted to do something um, entrepreneurial, something on my own. Uh, and uh, coming back to Singapore, the, uh, the country and the environment was very much conducive towards starting a new enterprise. Um, and uh, it really encouraged me to do so. Uh, the second reason very much relates to my own experience. Uh, I found myself back in Singapore having done an MBA and so on and uh, had all these opportunities ahead of me mainly because of my education. Uh, so it seemed a natural place for me to start uh, in order to be able to do something that add values to other people um, but also had a, a great growth potential uh, here in Singapore. Uh, lastly, Singapore itself is a very easy place to start a business. Uh, you can set up a company within a couple of days uh, and uh, you can concentrate on what your business model is or what you want to do. You don't really have to worry too much about the paperwork uh, or any of the red tape that might be out there. Patrick Turner uh, was my entrepreneurship professor at uh, INSEAD. Um, he was based in Singapore. He lived here for uh, a number of years and he was heavily involved with the local startup scene. Uh, in fact, he was a member of ACE, the Action Community uh, of Entrepreneurship here in Singapore. Um, he was a very inspiring professor. He uh, helped all his students regardless of uh, you know, how good or bad their ideas were, to be honest with you. Uh, he encouraged both me and Michal uh, when we started Prep Zone. And he met us numerous times uh, after we had left the school and we were in the midst of our business to discuss uh, our strategy, to help us out with some conundrums that we might have come across and to just generally be uh, an advisor. Uh, he did this um, you know, with no expectations other than the fact that he enjoyed interacting with his students who were actually in entrepreneurship. Uh, so he was a very inspiring person and he was someone who uh, made us all feel like we had someone we can talk to. We set up the Patrick Turner Scholarship for two main reasons. Uh, one is, as a company, we uh, wanted to give back uh, to Singapore, um, especially for those who uh, were interested in entrepreneurship, were interested in business education, uh, but found potentially the costs somewhat prohibitive in order to be able to go out and do that. Um, obviously the second reason was the passing away of our uh, professor at INSEAD um, and the two somehow coincided, the thought of setting up this scholarship and his, his passing on, uh, which then resulted in um, uh, a scenario where it all made a lot of natural sense for us to name the scholarship uh, in his honour. Uh, Patrick Turner stood for entrepreneurship. Uh, he stood for um, developing young people into future entrepreneurs. And he also really loved Singapore. He spent the last many years of his life uh, based out of here. It's uh, in our mind a very apt uh, uh, title for a scholarship and the meaning is very consistent with the meaning of the person who passed away back in 2014. All Singaporeans, uh, PRs and residents of Singapore uh, are eligible for the scholarship. In terms of how you apply for it, it's quite straightforward. You just have to go on to our website uh, scholarship.edu.sg and there's an online form. You submit that along with your resume. Uh, there's a deadline coming up in July, but if you submit your details before that, we'll add you to the shortlist and uh, you might be the lucky one to uh, get the scholarship. Mm -hmm.